let's look at adjacent angles. Adjacent means have a common boundary or edge. Now angle ABC is one angle. Angle CBD is second angle. Now they both have a common arm that is CD and a common vertex. So adjacent angles have a common arm and a common vertex. Uh, let's look at another example. In this case, angle DEF is your first angle and angle FEG is your second angle. They both have common vertex and a common arm. So angles that have common arm, EF in this case and BC in this case, a common vertex, B in this case and E is in this case. On common arms. So just a small definition. Try to understand it. Don't mug it. Adjacent angles have a common arm, a common vertex. Non-common vertex lie on opposite side of common arm. Again, angles that have a common arm, a common vertex and non-common arm that is ED and GE lie on the opposite side of the common arm. Now, angle ABD is equal to angle ABC plus angle CBD. So an adjacent angle is summation of two angles. Similarly, angle GED is equal to angle DEF, angle DEF, angle FEG, angle FEG. Let's move to the linear pairs. Now this is something interesting. Look at it carefully. Angle ABC and angle DBC are adjacent angles. Our angle CBD and angle ABD adjacent angles. Our angle CBD and angle ABD. So angle CBD marked with green color and angle ABD marked with black color. Are they adjacent? And the answer is no. Why? Because look carefully, angle CBD and angle ABD have a common arm. BD Now the non-common arm of angle CBD and non-common arm of angle ABD is AB, yes. Are they on the opposite sides of DB? No. Hence, they are not adjacent. There are three conditions for angles to be adjacent. Number one, common arm. In this scenario, we have a common arm, that is BD, a common vertex, that is B. Non-common arms, that is BC and AB, in this case, should lie on opposite sides of DB. That means one arm is a, on this side, another should lie on other side and this condition is not satisfied in this scenario hence they are not adjacent angles quite interesting isn't it like then non-common arms that is ab and db form a line then this angle becomes linear pair when non-common arms 
of adjacent angles form a straight line then they become linear pair of angles and note it down that angle B B C plus angle C B A is equal to 180 degree. We will look at it in more depth in another video. A B and C D are two lines. They intersect each other at point O. Then there are two pairs of vertically opposite angles. That means Angle BOC is vertically opposite to angle AOD and angle BOD is vertically opposite to angle AOC. First pair is angle BOC and angle AOD. Another pair is angle BOD and angle AOC. So remember when two lines a, B and C, D intersect each other. Then two pairs of vertically opposite angles are formed. In this case, these two are vertically opposite and these two are vertically opposite. Let's move to the last segment of this video. Let L and M be two lines and they do not intersect each other. They are parallel, hence they are non-intersecting lines. And line L and M in this case intersect each other, hence they are intersecting lines. Now this, the distance between two non-intersecting or parallel lines is always same. So the distance between two parallel lines or non-intersecting line is same. Thus, this brings us to an end of the fundamentals of lines and angles. And now you are aware of all the fundamentals of lines and angles. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.